Okay, boys and girls, so for today's lesson, what we're gonna be doing is exactly what the title says. We're gonna be subtracting three-digit numbers with zeros. So here's our example. Okay, so this is a three-digit number. Both of them are three-digit numbers, but this one has zeros, okay? So we're gonna use our model method first. So if you look at our problem, it says 300 minus 123. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw this on my model. And if, as you can see, I already did. So there's no, no a ones, there are zero tens, but it says 300, so I drew our 300s. Okay, so the next step is now we're going to subtract. We're gonna subtract 123. So when we start at the ones column, we can't subtract three from here because we don't have anything to subtract. And if we go to the tens column, we can't subtract two from the tens column because we don't have anything there. We have no value. Okay. But we have hundreds. And we can subtract one from 300, but we still have to perform these operations first. So that means we're going to have to regroup from our hundreds. So I'm going to cross this 100 out, and I'm going to regroup it here in the tens column. And I'm going to draw 100. Okay. So here's how we do it in the tens. We count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay. So now we can subtract from here, but we still have to subtract three from the ones. So that means we're going to have to regroup one of these tens over here and draw it as 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now that we have value in our uh, tens and ones columns, we can subtract. So we're going to subtract three because that's what it says to do here. So we know how to do that. One, two, three. When we subtract three, how many ones do we have left over? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we write our answer down below. Okay. Now in the tens column, it says to subtract two. So we're gonna subtract two. One, two. And now let's count the remaining tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven tens, which is really 70, but we're just gonna write seven. Okay. Now the hundreds column, it says to subtract one. So we're gonna subtract 100. And now we have 100 left over. So our difference, 300 minus 123, is 177. And also, I'll write my answer here. So we're going to do the same thing now using the algorithm. And the algorithm is it's really the same as the model, okay? except we're just not drawing a picture. We're using our, our numbers. Okay? So 300 minus 123. We know we cannot subtract three from zero. We cannot subtract two from zero, okay? But we can perform, we can take one away from three. So in order for us to perform these operations here, the subtraction operations, we have to regroup from the hundreds column, just like we did with the, with the model. So I'm gonna cross off my three, and I'm gonna turn it into a two. And that 100 that I borrowed, I'm gonna put it over here cross this off and make it a 10, okay? But I still need to, uh, I still can't subtract here, so I have to regroup again from this 10 so that I could give this uh, place value some value. So I'm gonna borrow one 10, so I'm gonna cross the 10 off again and turn it into a nine and bring the one that I borrowed over here and make this a 10. Well, now I can subtract. So if I have 10 and I take away 3, I go, I count backwards. I go, 9, 8, 7. Okay, I answer there. And now I'm ready to go to the tens column. So my tens column says 9, take away 2. And that's easy. We count backwards. 9, we take away 2, 8, 7. So I'm going to write my 7 there. Now we're ready to subtract from the hundreds column, and this says two take away one is one. So our difference, 
is 177. 300 minus 123 is 177. And if you notice, the difference that we received here is the same difference that we got in the model. So it doesn't matter. You use whatever method you think is easier for you to subtract three digit numbers that have zeros, either the model or the algorithm. Good luck.